Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. That's right. We got a whole weekend of sales to pack up for you today. Okay. How's everybody doing? There's Our, a couple of really, yes. really good ones. Yes. But overall, the weekend was slow. Yes. We had it picked up today though. Yeah. I was looking through and yeah. we sold some good stuff today. You know, there's there's like a rumor or a theory floating around. I I was up early this morning and Same. listing. And I listed early this morning. And it kind of felt like it jumped it jump okay. started it. A, a Don't little. take that as fact. Don't take it as fact. No, I'm not. I'm not saying it's fact. I'm just but we're saying. gonna test the theory. That's <clears throat> what it felt like. You gonna test the theory more? I mean, I'm gonna be up. All right, just finished my day. It's so yes. late. It's seven o'clock here. Jeez. <sighs> yeah, it was a long <coughs> one. Wow. Okay, so this is Mercari, and this is a good one. The first thing that sold is this Carhartt uh, vest. Where'd you get this, Vivens? Uh. No, it's a thrift. Carhartt men's size 3XL quick duck Jefferson vest, Thinsulate Canyon Brown. All of those are good things. The Thinsulate, the Jefferson, the quick duck. <laughs> I don't know, but it sold for uh, 60 bucks. Yes. Come on, Mercari. Come on, men's. I know, right? Not all Carhartt stuff is worth paying up for, so you really need to check it. This one was. Yep. We're all happy about that. Is Our, this under a pen? For sure. It's going to UPS. Okay. UPS short post. Sure so, enough. Yep. Um, <clears throat> our average cost of goods on this guy was three dollars and eighty cents. So this is excellent, excellent profit item. Yeah, Macari delivers. When it, it it's few and far between. Yep. But when it does, it comes through. Yep. I don't know that. I know, right? Macari? That's how our experience is. A lot of people have only uh, small sales in Macari. No, not us. Okay, I'm unprepared. Always. Okay. Okay. The next one is an absolute banger. <clears throat> this is one of these items that's long tail, and you have to hold out if you know what you have. That's right. So if that's you're aware, right. the Juicy Couture tracksuit is has been back for quite a while now. The one from the 2000s. The more blingy, the better. And at the bins, I can't even believe it. At the bins, between Dan and I, we found a full Juicy Couture tracksuit. Yeah, we did. And here's the way we did the collage for the photo. But y'all, this thing sold for two hundred and twenty-four dollars on Poshmark. Yeah. <laughs> you can join in. The fireworks are fun. So, you guys, let me show you the details show. Uh, of this thing. It is navy blue and it is blingy, meaning there's a lot of um, things going on in the back. This very large JC emblem on the back is really desirable the pants also have the emblem on them and that's great the title was vintage y2k i didn't mince words i didn't start with the brand here vintage y2k juicy couture women's size medium velour tracksuit dark navy blue pristine and what i mean by pristine is the bottom of the pants these are a jogger style but sometimes they're flared the bottom will get wrecked so a lot of people are looking at the bottom of the legs to see what condition it is in. And this graphic right here is the one that just sells this whole suit. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was in the bins. So if you find <clears throat> one piece, definitely either at the thrift or the bins, definitely go and try to seek out other pieces. If you find it, it's only a jacket and pants. There's yeah. no other pieces. But if you can find a jacket, look for the pants and vice versa. $224. This is like not the first one we sold for over a hundred. We, we sell these regularly when we can find them. This one's been listed for quite a long time. Yep. We were waiting for the right buyer. I listed it very high cause I could find no comms, like nothing. And I'm like, mm. all right, this one's pretty special. Yep. So that is a great sale. So even though our sales are lower, uh, the dollar amount is pretty good. You're going to see some <laughs> zingers here. Okay. Pingers, if you will. For sure. But it's fine. Cause we can, sold a juicy for two twenty four. I can hear them pinging in the background already. 
All right, these are Star Wars men's size small Mandalorian pajama pants bottoms. Speaking of Christmas, <laughs> Baby Yoda new. These sold for eleven bucks, and I shall show you. Bing. It's all good. <laughs> I think these were a thing Dan got for Christmas. And he... Were they? Were these re gifts? Yeah, I think he re gifted them. Re, re poshed, whatever you want to. I think you. I think Baby Yoda might be past. Yeah. All right, so there we go. 11 bucks. So glad that we're going to New Hope. Right hey, in time for Christmas. That's great. Check it out. I finally got Tyvex. Woo! -hoo! We've been waiting. <clears throat> All right, next is a pair of shoes from Kick It. These are also a pinger, but it's fine. They're going to New Home. They're cool shoes. They're a basket weave texture. And they're mules, meaning they're slide on. So the title was Kick It Women's Size 8 Mules Slides Basket Weave Black Shoes Slip On. And they sold for nine bucks. Oh, man. This is, I don't know. The, they have leather soles. It's a really good shoe. I don't know anything about these. We got them in a um, estate sale. So we didn't have a real choice here. But we decided to list them, I guess. And, uh, oh, well. <laughs> I'm cool. If yeah. they go to a new home and we're still making money, fine. Right? All good. Okay. I was going to say Tom, Ace. Tom Ace. Another upper made in Brazil. These are probably really nice. I know. I just don't think they have a resale value. Or maybe I listed them inside. I don't know. I have no idea if any of these are viewer sales. Do you know? Uh, the bundle is a viewer sale. Okay, great. Okay, next we have a coat from ECI. I'm not sure about this brand, but I, I am sure about this coat because it's pretty cool. <laughs> this is a swing coat. The title is ECI plus size 16W swing coat, black, white, floral embroidery, half sleeve, brand new. I don't, I've never really sold this brand. I do see it quite a bit, but the swing nature of this coat, it's kind of like a boxy fit. And this has all over embroidery. It's really beautiful. And I was kind of struck by it at the thrift. So I had to get it. Here's the tag. And anytime I'm struck by something, I just normally do take a chance on it. And this was new a tag, so there was nothing to be said. Yeah. Uh, this is actually from the bins. We paid 99 cents for it, so it's a no-brainer in my opinion. And we've had this a very, very long time. Yeah, we have had it a long time. So I'm not saying it was the best buy of all time. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that it's, it's over $34, and I still would have picked this up again today. I do have pieces like that where yeah. I really like it. I'm not, yep. I don't do it often, but sometimes where I'm like, I have a hunch. Because sometimes the brand doesn't always tell the story. That's true. And sometimes the sell-through doesn't always tell the story. I know somebody's out there like, yes, it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm just here to tell you. All right, next is Eileen Fisher. Yeah, come on. Come on, Eileen. This is, let's see if I can bring it up for you. Working on it. Mm -hmm. Eileen Fisher, women, size medium, tunic, light purple, linen, sequin, neckline, top ties. We sold one of these the other day. It's a sparkle top, y'all. Sparkle top. I'm telling you, it's sparkle top season. Hashtag. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are the crappy bags. <clears throat> Anything in the sevens is a crappy bag. Oh, I also no. relisted the seven thousands last week, so that's maybe where this is getting a little. I mean, twenty one bucks. I think that was an offer. Um, let's see here if we can see the sparkles. We have no close up of the sparkles. What? This is kind Amateurs. Of, kind of close up. <laughs> that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then finally on is this finally on Flash? No, no, this is not finally. Yeah. I love this so much. I got this <laughs> at the bins, and I knew exactly what it was. You like dove in after it. Uh. I was obsessed. This is a little Christmas story. Oh, yeah. Just in time for the holidays. It was my last Christmas that, like, 
Santa came to my house and um, I didn't know it was my last Christmas when Santa came to my house, but I was suspicious, you know, <laughs> sus. And I wanted this American Girl doll so bad called Molly. I wanted Molly. I didn't want any of the other ones and I did not grow up any kind of, I think we need an extra package. And anyway, and my mom was like, man, sometimes Santa wants you to get a present, but he can't. Sometimes, you know, she was like letting me down real easy. She was like, sometimes it's just, you just maybe wish for it the next year and it'll come. And it's just like some other kids needed their toys more. And just, oh, I mean, she was ouch. like laying it on. Ouch. And then in the, Dang. so I went to bed like so sad. I was like, this is never, I was just, I don't know. It was probably nine or something. I was like so sad. It's the only thing I wanted. And then I woke up and little Molly was sitting in front of the tree in a little, uh, like little wicker chair. Oh. oh my god, lost it. Oh. Lost it. So that was a really magical Christmas. Anyway, it was like one of my only gifts because it was so expensive. But I got it. Got it. And she carried that bag. And I knew that bag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, anyway, it only sold for seven dollars, but I couldn't leave it. It's gonna, no make, way. it's gonna make somebody's Christmas. No way was I leaving that. Hopefully. Okay. Next is Chico's. It's a bundle. Hey, ah, your bundle. Your bundle. Okay. No. Yes. 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 For Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. So this is Chico's. Pull it up over here. Chico's women's size one, US eight, Reese tie cardigan, top carbon blue stripe, three quarter sleeve new. That looks like this. I love this top. So pretty. Oh no, I gotta. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is this the next one? Oh, okay, gotta go back. Escada, women's size 42, US 12, wool, silk, wide, navy, pink striped pants. And then, and then I can't see these tabs. <laughs> the Sigrid, all, see, see, Sigrid, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sigrid, Sigrid Olsen, women's size 12, dress pants, black textured, flat front, stretch ankle. Thank you so much for your purchase. Thank you. You're getting this some high quality stuff. Amazing right here. stuff. Y'all, I haven't gone and relisted a Poshburg in a hot minute, and you guys know it, and take advantage of it. I appreciate <laughs> it. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Get blown up here. Give me a sec. What is happening? I don't know. Everything all right. Okay. <laughs> so this bundle sold for 28 bucks and so thankful. Thank you. Okay, this is a new list. Exciting. Nice. This is Eileen Fisher. And this we just listed. It's a chunky cardigan. Um Eileen Fisher size extra large cardigan sweater, black rib knit, open front cotton silk blend. This is better than the, this picture is not great. Actually, we need to talk about this, okay. but this <laughs> is better than the thinner ones. We do better with the thicker. Yeah. I'm not sure that the pictures tell the story here though, that this is thicker. It looks like a big black blob to me on the computer. Yeah, kind of. So we, we can do better than this. We have done better within this in the exact same position with black before. So hopefully someone knew what they were buying, especially this close-up. You can see the texture. It's a really thick sweater, which is uncommon for Eileen Fisher uh, for these type of sweaters. And this sold for 50 bucks. Yeah, man. Really quickly. We're moving over to eBay yeah, yeah. with a banger sale. Come on. First and foremost, and I shall show you this as soon as I do this. Because I cannot see. This is a coat. And we've been waiting to sell this coat for a while. Uh, actually, we waited to list it for a while. Yes. I don't know why it sat on the rack so long. I don't either. Okay. It, it has some flaws. So maybe that's why I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. 
Barber men's size C40, 102 centimeter Beaufort wax jacket, no hood, no liner, navy blue. Um, okay, we didn't disclose any flaws. Daniel, does it have flaws? I, I, I don't. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't really like. I looked it over today again. Yeah. And I think it's. There's nothing like, it's like a, it's supposed to be wax coated, right? Yeah. And I don't, I'm not sure if it's still coated or if it can be, re, if it needs to be redone because I read some other listings where they were like, it needs to be re-waxed. So I, I'm not exactly sure. And I think this is one of the things I listed at like 737 this morning. So... We'll keep you posted. You were not scared. I would have been scared. I was not scared. I was just I just went went for it. Barber men's set. Yeah, you told it. It's for $120. <laughs> okay, I would have been so scared to list that. Yeah, the jackets are like, it's like a, oh no. It's like a four or five hundred dollar jacket new retail. So I listed it at two hundred. Well, you didn't do you know the what? I'm confused. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. See what happens. Like I said, we'll keep you posted. I would have erred on the side of caution, just so you know. I would have put that there was a flaw. In retrospect, yes. <laughs> I probably should have. This guy. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> Nothing gets this guy down. Nothing. He's like, I'm just going to list this coat. It's me and the coat. Bye, then. List it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. If you're high strung, find yourself a Dan. <laughs> really helps to balance you out. I mean that. Bet you have to take that to the box. <laughs> He's busted. Getting flustered. I love it. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna have to repackage this. It's gonna have to be for this. Over, over the limit. Over the limit. Oh, you need a pen. For those of you yelling at your screen right now, I, I I know. I'm assuming I'm assuming major risk here. What? Listen oh. the way I do. I know, okay. I'm after you. <laughs> no, you got you have the dance squad. They'll be on your side. <laughs> Don't worry. Dance squad got your back. I just like plot it out entirely, but maybe. It's not flawed. I don't know. Do you think it's flawed? I don't think it's flawed. Then it's not flawed. I don't know. But again, like, I'm no expert in barber jackets. Yeah, that's true. We do always list them up, though. So if it is, and the guy, like, wants to return it or sends me a message and is yeah. unhappy with it. You make it right. That's Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. Next. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't accept the offer. <laughs> yes. Because you just listed. It. Yeah. That's great. Okay. If you're wondering, we have a post office that stays open until uh, 10. So we can do late night shipping. Yes. The main post office in our area. And as long as I get there by, I think it's 8 or 8.30. Yeah. Stuff will still go out there. Most of the dang. Is that it? No. Is it on the other box? I put the box right there. Oh, the other box? Yeah. Okay. Some more tape for that. 
All right, the next is Talbot. Talbot, women's size medium, cardigan, sweater, grandpa style red. This is not red. It happened again. But even, even April said this is red. Yeah. This is not red. It's not red. It's just not red. I think it's red. It's coral. I mean, it's pretty red. It's coral. Okay. I want to show the camera. It's, it's not red. No, it looks red on the camera. It's not red. I don't know where something coral is. Well, like... It's coral. See? Coral. <laughs> See? <I> told you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it. restream. Dang what do you, it. What do you know? I stared at red clothes all day today. In fact, I had to cull all the red clothes from the wardrobe. No red on our... Watch Dr. Phil, you will see no red. No red, huh? And um, so I know what red looks like, and that is coral. Well, All right. We will see what happens with this one. Also. <laughs> say we were good race dollars. <laughs> Just said we were going to document our journey. There you go. <laughs> Next is a pretty good one. Hopefully it sticks this time. I think we sold this before. No, it's on top. What? You, oh, you yeah. the one that do do this. <laughs> do these. And they tell you don't do this, don't, and then you do this. Don't do do. Oh no. Uh, I'll, I'll climb under there. We're falling apart at the seams. <laughs> this is Escape size fourteen evening dress, navy three D floral embroidered ruched rear full length. Sold for seventy five dollars. Nice. This is a really beautiful dress. I we did sell it before, and it was returned for fit. I'm hoping it wasn't worn in return, mm -hmm. but could have been because <laughs> it was been. like returned on day number twenty nine. Yeah, I'm trying to find the tag. There it is. Escape. Escape. I don't know about this brand, but this dress comes really well. We got it in a state sale for three fifty nine. Thank you. If you're wondering why no red on the show, it's just something that goes wacky with the camera and syndication. <clears throat> like the whole screen warms up to the red or something. Hmm. Only in reruns. I don't know. That's what I heard today. Hey, no red. Fine. Okay. Okay, next we have a soft surroundings. Right. Is this haptic on here like this? No, it's not haptic on here like that. Mm -hmm. I should have put this in there because it's all full. I can't put it on the whole pen. <laughs> Why? Let's take it out of the bin. <clears throat> this is the first one. Got it. There you go. It's wide as well. Okay. But that's not too bad. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. Uh, okay, soft surroundings. This is brand new with tags. Nice. And I'd love to show you. $2.19 cost of goods on this. Sweet. I can't, I can't see anything. I'm just blind. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Soft surroundings, women's size, extra large, Hyannis dress, faux wrap, stretch, navy, brand new. This sold for thirty-five dollars. It's a pretty quick sale too. I think again, the brand new stuff is doing better for us, and it normally does at this point in the year. Yeah. Okay. The next are. Um, I want to be really sensitive with how I talk about it. And I'm going to try to do it properly. Okay. Uh, not for my own sake, but for my people's sake. So I love, and you don't have to, I don't care what you think, but I love drag culture. Love. I'm a theater person. Okay. So there's certain things that you can market to the drag community in a respectful way so that they can find your listings. And I think it's an amazing art form. I really do. Some of the best artists I've never ever known. Okay. So we sold these seals. 
They they sold very fast. Yes, they did. Uh, Steve Madden, women's size 11 medium, sky rise, platform heels, patent leather drag. And the reason we put drag, just like you would put boho or any other kind of keyword in your title so that the people looking for that can find your listing. Uh, there are certain things about this listing that make it drag advantageous or attractive. The platform, for one, makes it awesome because you can wear a really high heel and the platform makes it easier to walk in. The ankle strap holds it onto your foot. So if you're doing any kind of performance art, it's not going to fly off, which is like a really important thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying that a drag person brought, bought these. I don't know. But we wanted to put it in the title in case they were looking for them so that they could find them. They're also a larger size. Like a glove. Yes. So all of those things, I think it's an appropriate use of the term in the title. So I'll show you them. They're really cool. Look at those chunky heels. Yes, mama. So I love buying shoes like this. The bigger the size, the better, because they can fit a more variety of people. These are just Steve Madden, and they sold in like, I don't know, a day for $35. Yeah, super fast. I took the offer. I thought it was a really fair offer, and happy to see them have a new home. That's just Missouri. I think we're going to be okay. Okay. 3.1, and what is this? 12. 11, 6, 12, 11, 6, 12, 99. Okay. All right. Yay. <laughs> okay. Next is this little hard rock guy. You know, I've been weary of, of selling hard I'm rock selling merchandise. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes they give you a Vero. You got to make sure it's really, really authentic. This is a hard rock. Um, Cafe Dubai 2006 local dress teddy bear plush city new tags again new and this little guy we've had for a very long time he's so dang cute <laughs> and yeah he's from Dubai he's part of the signature collection I will show you what he looks like in just one second oh. what do you need so many boxes inside I need to bring out Just look how cute this photo is mm. <laughs> he looks like picnic when she can't open her eyes in the morning I know right it has the hologram logo here yeah I really haven't listed any uh, hard rock stuff I know a lot of people got some barrows back in the day, and I, I already been kind of, I forgot this was listed, to be honest, but it sold for $30.57. Come on, Dubai Bear. Come on, now. You okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. I'm fine. How are you? Okay, great. I'm just lovely. Next is Eileen Fisher. I know you're not surprised, but this is a great, another chunky knit. Uh, Eileen Fisher, women's size large, tunic, sweater top, shawl, neck, rib knit, tiny flaw. And even with a tiny flaw, this sold for $39. Right on. I love the color of this. It's so cool. Uh, this is a tunic link that does have a front pocket. I think the pictures of this turned out nice. Nice. Eileen Fisher exclusively for Neiman Marcus. And here is the flaw. It has a little pull, I think. Um, some people can fix these kind of things. What does it say? Hmm. I'm trying to see where the flaw is. And I didn't even write the flaw. I must have missed it or someone else listed this. Not sure. Oh, well. Something in the shoulder there. I don't know if it's a... At least we did the call out. That's good. A hole or a stain. I mean, that's why I always put tiny flaw in the title. In case I forget to put it in the description field, whatever. At least they can see where the flaw is. And they're notified it from go. Yeah. Like, don't click on this listing if you're not interested in perhaps a tiny flaw. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eileen Fisher? Is that where we're at? Yep. yep. Whoa. <laughs> I'm having a great time here. Oh, it's the best. Oh. Um, someone wants to know what you're checking on the other screen here. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It, 
We'll find it. It's fine. Yeah. All of our inventory. So just what fell I over. what I have I have the eBay bulk shipping screen pulled up. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at how much the buyer paid for shipping, and that's what I'm writing down here on the pick list, so that I know what kind of packaging to use. So this person paid twelve ninety nine for expedited shipping, and they live in Colorado, which is pretty close. So priority mail is going to be probably the best way to go. All right, next we have a J. Jill. Dan learned that J. Jill was owned by Talbots today. I did learn that today. I had no idea. Uh, J. Jill women size large cardigan sweater, open knit white button front tunic linen. This sold for $20. And happy to take an offer on this because it's a white item and this would have stuck around for a while. Odds are, at least. I need to delete the photos of this computer. Okay. It's going real slow. I thought I just did that, actually. Okay. Oh, it is linen. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be rebooted, you know. <clears throat> Look at that cool knit. It's really pretty sweater. Sorry, I'm flying ahead of you. No, they can't do that. I'm gonna get confused. Here, just leave it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I got it. Thanks. Okay, we're on the J. Joe. Cardigan, seven ninety nine for expedited. Pennsylvania. All right. I can fit that in a flat rate envelope. Thanks. All right. Next is an item from Vince, which we tell you is hit or miss for us. This time it was a sort of a hit. <laughs> I don't know. Sort of a hit? Yeah, it's a base hit. We'll Vince, take it. women's size medium sweater, knit top, heather gray, v-neck, lightweight. We've had this a while. I don't know why it's not on sale. Is our sale going? Yeah. Uh, it sold for $25. <laughs> I do know that I was relisting in the 900 so maybe I relisted this. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this has an old shipping price on it still, too. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there. I don't even know, you know where that's going. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Got it. Okay. And here's Vince. Their knits still do well for us. I mean, if you think 25 is good, I would have liked to get a lot, a lot more for it. But yeah. Great. I always like to would have liked to have gotten a little <laughs> exactly. bit more. Exactly. That's the way it goes. Okay. Next is Eileen Fisher again. Nice. I don't know why, you guys. Eileen Fisher sells for us. Like, consistently. I keep telling you, if I could get a pallet of it, I would over and over and over again. Um... Eileen Fisher, size medium blouse, washable silk stretch tank camisole blue sweetheart, which is the neckline here. And this sold for 28 bucks. The pictures are a little blown out just so we could get the color kind of correct. Um, it's really pretty, really just a gorgeous top. Yeah. I've since gotten better at photographing dark blues and, and such. Oh, people want a video. You want to do a video for how to get your color right? Gosh, that would be such a good video. Thumbs up. Oh, man. Comment below. Do you want a video on how to get your colors right in your photo? Because Dan and this well, app and the, all the settings and everything is probably yeah, good resource. I got, I'm using ProCam. So. Right, but if you do a video, they can use ProCam too. They want a video. The people have spoken. I'm just perceiving that they were leaving comments. I, I hear it, yeah. Okay, next is a Travis Matthew shirt. <clears throat> uh, We've had this a while. Which also got relisted. So I had April relist all of our old... She was working from home last week when she was sick, and I had her relist all of our old eBay stuff. I had her fill in the details on Macari, 
I mean, on Vendu. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw him cry. And um, so a lot of this older stuff is because she relisted it, which is great. This is this sold for twenty bucks. It's we'll just take a polo it. shirt. Yeah, we'll take it. But the inventory number was five three three six. Yeah, like I said, we've had a long time. So I think relisting is is good. Me too. Seems to be doing something. Refreshes. And I had her enter the details into Vendu because it's our older listing, so the details weren't there. And now I can bulk delist and relist those things at my leisure because the details are now entered. <clears throat> I hope that makes sense. Next is another purple thing. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a athleisure skirt from Nike. Nike women's size extra large pin tuck pleated woven skirt, purple built in ball short. Mm, new with tags. It sold for $30.56, y'all. When I was listening to this thing, I was dying. I don't know what a built in ball short is, but <laughs> it's something about your balls. It's for tennis. Well, your tennis balls. Tennis balls. In your skirt. I feel like that's a good selling feature. It is an excellent selling feature. I don't want to be caught on the tennis court without your extra balls. Definitely not. Definitely. So we had a bunch of these skirts that were athleisure skirts. Yep. And we had the the Zennials tell us which one's the list. Because they to us to us they were all stretchy skirts. We're like, we were we like yeah, we're gonna list all these. And they were like, yes, 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 no, no. So apparently <clears throat> the flat with the pleats is the way to go. Yep. That's the greatest part about having younger assistants. <laughs> we ask them everything. We're like, is this cute? Would you yes. wear this? Come on, friend. This is a shirt from Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren men, size large, Polo Bear shirt, custom fit black. It's the bear. This is this sold for $27, and it does have the bear. Anytime a Ralph Lauren piece has a bear on it, like a teddy bear. I'm trying to open it. There it is. Like that? I mean, this is like a... What is this? What's this for? Guy. What's this for? A, that's a polo bear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I give up, y'all. <laughs> I thought I was playing... What game where you whack the balls with the holidays? With the... <laughs> What's that? What? Like cricket? No. No, croquet. You... Croquet! That's what I thought he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not croquet. You put your foot on it. It literally said polo right What's this? It's all right. It's all right. It's late. You leave us alone. You leave us alone. Sport is <laughs> What could it be? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yes. All right. Kansas. This took a while to sell. I think it has a flaw in it, or I got the flaw. I'm not sure. No, it has a tiny flaw. I'm crying. <laughs> do you see this? Crying. <laughs> this is Roots Canada, which used to do really well. It slowed down for us. Roots Canada, men's size, extra large, pullover sweater, quarter zip, brown cotton. Tiny flaw, tiny baby. Tiny flaw, there it is. And this sold for twenty bucks. Twenty dollars. There's the flaw. It's got a little bleach, bleachy bleach. We should have called it out, meaning we should have put a red circle around it. Didn't. Here's the logo. Yeah, I said. However, there's a very tiny spot of discoloration on the collar. Yeah. And the reason I'm putting that in a Tyvek and not a flat rate is because it's close enough. It's going to Kansas. So it's cheaper in that than a flat rate envelope. Flat rate's not always the cheapest. Not. That's your song for today. <laughs> always. <laughs> You're going to remember it, aren't you? Uh-huh. I was a teacher. I know all about singing. I'll sing anything as long as you remember it. I don't care. Eileen Fisher. <laughs> I could sing about Eileen. There's already Very a song. <laughs> it's a sparkle top. Ah, sparkle top. Eileen Fisher, women's size medium scoop neck shell with ruffle black stretch. Brand new. Sold for $27.51. And 
And girl, does it have the sparkles. Yo, this computer is real slow in loading these books. There it is. There it is. All right. Love. You can tell seasonally when things are going to sell. And always around this time, we're selling all the sparkles. So you got them, list them. We're approaching the kind of the final week of being able to get stuff to people in time for Christmas. Uh -oh. Hanukkah's already passed. So, like, I mean, not already passed, but, like, shipping-wise. Yeah, right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. but shipping-wise, it has. All right. All right, next, we have this item called St. John. Okay. And these, y'all, are brown pants. Brown pants. Brown pants are selling. I, You have heard it here over and over again. It's fact now. Why weren't these on sale? I don't know. So weird. Well, they sold full price. So good. Yeah. St. John, women's size 12 brown, mid rise, straight leg, dress pant, trouser, stretch, $49.95. Excellent. These also were in my relisting adventure. So I'm not sure if that got them more exposure. We have found this is not an experiment. We don't do blah, 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 blah none of that stuff. But what we have found over the last at least six months is that things that are about to renew their listing and things that are freshly listed, whether they're relisted or however, it doesn't matter, are getting the most exposure, regardless of promotions, regardless of all the things. This is true. That's what we have found. That's why it's important to list or relist every single day. And finally, another new tags item. Love for all. So cute. Aww. Love for all. Uh, Emily and Merritt. Women's size small. PE sweatshirt. Love for all. Rainbow gray. Brand new. Sold for $25. Bucks. We have this listed a couple weeks or a month. And all of a sudden, it started getting all this attention. So I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe there's a TikTok. Maybe. But then someone bought it for $25. Yes. It had attention on all three platforms on the same day. You know what I'm some people will raise price. That's coincidental. Yeah. Okay. Even coincidence. All right. <clears throat> Ready. Almost. Give me one second. I got to shuffle. I got to reload this page. Okay. Hold on. I'm shuffling. All right. Every day I'm shuffling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Three, nine. Three, nine. What's that say? 12, 6, 12. 12, 6, 12. UP, we are UPS. Are you be able to get to UPS in time? What time they close? Um, or I'll try. What time do they close? I don't. I don't know. Well, we, Some stay open later than others. We have to know, or it's gonna be late. See what I'm saying? Okay. I can. Yeah. Closing soon. Uh, there's one in Oak Lawn. Um, there's one in. I can medium flat rate box it. Where is this one going? Hold on. Oh yeah, it closes at six thirty. Four. This, this size medium flat rate. Box. Yeah. How many different ways can we package this? Sorry, guys. We we are not used to shipping this late, and that would have gotten us a ding. <clears throat> Don't yeah. want a ding because it's going all the way to Connecticut, and it's like holiday season. No way would this have made it in time if we didn't get it out today. No. <sighs> And that's only because we have same day shipping. That's the service we offer on eBay. I think it does help our sales. I mean, technically, well, this sold today. It was late today. This is the last day. Oh, well, you should have said. Get it out of here. We did sell some things that are really good. Take the ticket. We sold some really good things tonight. But we're not shipping them out tonight. It's like, yeah, burrito it. The burrito stitch. Okay, so you're putting this in a medium flat rate box. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, okay, this is the ticket. Ticket. Take the ticket. All right. All uh, right. Okay. Padded flat rate. Tell them it's padded flat rate. Escape 2.8. Escape 2.8. 12, 3, 14. Okay. Uh, flat rate envelope, soft surroundings. Flat rate envelope. Yep. Steve Madden, yep. 3.1. 3, 1. 12, 11, 6. Okay. Uh, 11 ounces hard rock. 11 ounces. I think Fisher, 115. 115. 12, 3, 14. Okay. Uh, flat rate envelope. Envelope, yep. Vince, 7 ounces. Yep. Eileen Fisher, 3 ounces. Yep. Travis Matthew, 8 ounces. Okay. Nike, 7 ounces. Yep. Polo, 10 ounces. Yep. 1.6. <clears throat> yep. Priority. That's all I got. Is okay. it in the... Yep. Okay. The time, right? Eileen Fisher, 7 ounces. 7 ounces. Uh, flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. And 10 ounces. 10 ounces. It's almost my bedtime. Oh, no. Form. All right. <clears throat> First of one oh eight six eight. You know, eight to eight. He's looking at the bulk shipping screen, and he's comparing the name. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the SKU number. I'm reading the SKU number because she's got the SKU number on the tape to the package. And I'm, yeah, I'm looking at the name on the label to make sure it matches. So one zero three nine seven is the same name as on the screen. <clears throat> One 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 eight four. Oh. What? What? Why? I don't know. I have to. I have to change that. It's probably this one too. It's probably because you wrote priority there, but not in those two. Dang it. Okay. So what happened is this. Priority package printed out as a ground label. Yeah, I had the weight in there and it defaulted to ground advantage and I didn't catch it. So we just have to reprint the label. Okay. Cancel it, void it, yep. reprint it. Okay. Wonderful. 11034. One, 11755. One, Nine four nine nine. What? This one? Dubai? Yep. Dubai there. Okay. Ah. One oh six two five. Is this the same problem? No, this is correct. One oh five nine zero. Seven eight nine. Nine three zero five.
1696. One oh seven four nine. One oh eight four five. Seven six eight nine. Seven one six four. And one one six six one. All right. I'm gonna reprint that one. Yep, I'm gonna fix void this label, print out a priority one, and then get all this stuff to the post office. And then we'll get to see if we made the profit goal for the weekend. Stick around, we'll be right back. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Come here, come here. And say hi to all your friends. Oh, oh, that was my knees. Oh, yep. Come here. Picnic. Oh, that's a good girl. Yes. Mm hmm. I know. It's been a long day. Yep. I, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> All right. You guys say bye, and I'll get you your treats. Bye, Jeremy. Bye, Picnic. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Uh, we're back. I just late. finished the bookkeeping. I went to the late post office. Uh, I think I've been maybe like a minute or two late. 8.04. I thought it was 8.30. I think it's 8. That's what I heard him say last time. But it might be 8.30. Did anyway. you give it to the guy, though? Yeah, I gave it to the guy. Did you ask the guy? I didn't ask him, but I just gave it to him. He's like, hey. And he's just handed in the bags. Here you go. He knows the deal. <laughs> All right. Come on, weekend. Have you looked? I have. All right, let me tee this up uh, We've here. also sold six things today that we did not ship out that sold this evening. This evening was hot. Wow. Yeah. There's six that we didn't ship out already? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we shipped late today. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Analytics, come on. Come on, Vendu. What you got for me? $716. Yes. I'll take it. Yes. It's a good, healthy profit. I like it. I like it. I hey. like those 23 things listed today. I know, right? I did work you today. Did. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, also, I want to talk about uh, real quick while we have Vendu up on the screen. Uh, um, I want to say it right. Sale detection and auto delisting for Mercari and Depop are officially live. For everybody. For everybody. Yes. Yes. If you don't know what that means, if you, if you use Vendu and you sell something on Mercari or Depop now, in addition to eBay and um, okay. Poshmark, it will delist it on all other marketplaces for you automatically. It's amazing. Wonderful. Yes. Yes. Go Bendu. Yeah. Woo. No, really? That was, that was really good. Really? Yes. Fine. Do, you know, everything's late today. <laughs> Do you get the idea? We are excited. Um, We are. That's a healthy profit number for the weekend. I did work that you can see today. <laughs> I did some real listings. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. See you tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I got to go to bed. Bye. Bye.